activate the backlight in Eclipse. Rain. You saw it just a moment ago, and uh, we have in view uh, from the truss cameras on the International Space Station the Soyuz TMA-21. This view again coming from the Soyuz, and now the view from the ISS cameras as uh, Samakutiaya, Barisenko, and Garin negotiate uh, the final 100 meters for a docking to the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Zvezda service module of the International Space Station. The other Soyuz that currently resides at the station, the TMA-20, that is the vehicle for Kondratiev, Coleman, and Nespoli uh, is uh, at the opposite side, uh, just down the road uh, from uh, where this uh, Soyuz will dock. Uh, that uh, TMA-20 vehicle is docked to the Rosviet module, which is on the Earth-facing side of the Zarya module of the International Space Station. Range 7-0, range rate, decimal 4. I see the target on the VSK. Copy, good news. Range 57 meters, range rate decimal 2.8, copy. C1 is 1, C station motion relative to the center of the screen within 1 degree. SSVP confirms ready, range 40 meters. Range rate, decimal 2-4. Copy. Tarhani, please issue R5. R5 in work. Andrei, please issue R5. Yes, I copy. R5 has been issued. Copy. Seeing station motion. The visiting vehicle officer at the mission control room in Houston at the Johnson Space Center reports that the Corps' automated rendezvous antenna on the Soyuz TMA-21 has retracted as advertised as uh, the distance continues to be closed uh, by Samakutiaya for a docking to the Poisk module. Now some uh, 37 meters separating the Soyuz and Poisk. Message received. Everything continuing to uh, perform as scheduled. You can see just under the docking port that uh, is the docking target, to which will be aligned a short time from now via the Corps system, the passive system on the uh, Russian segment side of the International Space Station. And there's a view uh, as we approach orbital sunset of uh, the Soyuz TMA-21. In the middle section of that Soyuz are Samakutiaya, Borisenko, and Garin, uh, dead on for an on-target docking for the Poisk module just minutes from now. Slowly up and towards the center, continuing approach. Tarkane, please issue R5. In work. Com R5 complete. Copy. The Soyuz now within 20 meters of docking, closing at a rate of two-tenths of a meter per second. Everything continues uh, to perform normally on the Soyuz vehicle as the Soyuz and the International Space Station approach the coast of Chile. Continuing approach, image is crisp. Have the misalignment on roll. Sasha, this is nominal. Copy. Other than that, everything is aligned. Copy. 1.5 marks on small diameter. Now 12 meters separating the two spacecraft. Rate of closure one-tenth of a meter per second. The Soyuz and the International Space Station about to cross the Andes Mountains. 
SSVP, screen is ready. Standing by for contact. Range rate 1-5. Flight controller standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Sasha, we are confirming good approach. Everything looks good. Little bit off on the crosses. Target moves down. This is nominal. Contact and capture, docking confirmed. Yes, mechanical connection. Docking confirmed at 3.09 a.m. Moscow time, 6.09 p.m. Central time. The Gagarin spacecraft slips into port at the International Space Station, honoring the golden anniversary of the dawn of human spaceflight. Page 8-5. ONS book is ready. RPV-1 RPV to close. Go to close RPV-1. In work. RP-1 is closed. Post-docking procedures underway for Alexander Samakutiai of the Soyuz commander. Once again, the docking occurring at 6.09 p.m. Central Time, 3.09 a.m. Moscow Time on Thursday as uh, the Soyuz TMA-21 and the International Space Station flew 221 statute miles over the Andes Mountains of Chile. Two hours, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Pressure in SR, 816.